In the first video, we saw that Jesus said that unless you overcome, you're not going to get into the throne room of heaven. And we also saw that to overcome simply means to wash your robes in the blood of the Lamb. And when you've done that, you've been freed from all your sins. So in other words, an overcomer is not something what they do. It's what they focus on what Jesus has done. When he shed his blood, we were freed from over all our sins and we've overcome the devil. We've overcome the world. So to overcome in order to eat from the tree of life is not what we do. It's focusing on what Jesus has done. In his epistle, in 1 John, the same author, the guy who wrote Revelation, wrote 1 John, he also speaks about overcoming. And he nails it. He tells us that overcoming takes place as soon as we accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior. Let's have a look at the phrase overcoming in the epistle of John. 1 John 5 verse 4. Listen. For everyone who has been born of God overcomes the world. Stop. Now we are told what we overcome. The world. That's interesting. Everyone who has been born of God overcomes the world. What do we overcome? The world. When do we overcome? For everyone who has been born of God overcomes. As soon as you're born of God, you overcome. As soon as you've been born of God, you overcome. When do you become born of God? When do you become born? Right at the beginning. <laughs> and he will say that in the next phrase. I'll read it again. 1 John 5, 4 and 5. For everyone who has been born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world. Not will overcome. And this is the victory that has overcome, has overcome the world when we are born. This is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. When we come to faith, at the beginning. And that's what he's going to say in verse 5. Who is it that overcomes the world except the one that believes that Jesus is the Son of God? Yeah! As soon as I believe that Jesus is the Son of God, I'm born of God, and I have overcome the world. When I believe that Jesus is the Son of God, I'm born of God. That's right at the beginning, and I graduate. I have overcome the world. That's what it says in verse 4. And this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. When did we come to faith? He, who is it that overcomes the world, except the one that believes that Jesus is the Son of God, then he's born of God. You overcome the world as soon as you believe. That's when you're born. Wow. It's not focusing on a life of obedience and holiness and righteousness. It's talking not about what we do, but that we put faith in what Jesus has already done. As soon as I believe, I begin, I am born of God and I've already overcome. And this is the victory that has overcome, not will. Wow. You graduate when you begin. He nails it again in verse 1 of chapter 5. Look at this. Everyone who believes that Jesus is the Messiah has been born of God. We have a come when we're born of God. When are we born of God? Everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ. Do you believe that Jesus is the Christ? Well, you're born of God. You are an overcomer and you've already overcome the world. So when Jesus said to him who overcomes, he will sit on my throne. He'll eat from the tree of life. He's saying, focus on my work that you've already overcome when I overcame. And as I said in the previous one, you have been then freed from your sins at the cross. Focus on what I've done. That's how you overcome, not by what you do at all. He says that again in 1 John 2 and verse 14. Look, I write to you, young men, because you are strong and the word of God abides in you and you have overcome the evil one. Oh, we overcome the world as soon as we believe. We overcome the evil one as soon as we believe. And you have overcome again. He's in the past tense. It's all at the beginning. You graduate as soon as you begin. When do I overcome? When do I overcome? As soon as I believe. You've already overcome. 
my goodness this is good news folks this is good news it is the best news this is part two in part three we'll have a look at the next idea well if i have been born of god and at that point in time i'm an overcomer well that means i can't sin anymore right that's not what john says what he's going to say is going to shock us when i believe and i become an overcomer do i sin anymore make sure you watch part three god bless